I am super excited to unbox and share with you the brand new addition to the On collection of running trainers. It is the new On Cloud Ace. And the best part is we have four pairs to give away. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a closer look at the new On Cloud Ace and of course telling you how you can get your hands on your very own pair. Now, who doesn't love new shoes? I know I'm certainly a sucker for a new pair of shoes and I am super excited to see what is inside this box. Right, I'm gonna start with the women's shoe, admittedly from a slightly selfish perspective, but the men's shoes are the same, just a different colorway, and we'll be showing you those later on. Now, these are the Ruby and Lava Women's Cloud Ace. Take a look. So on first impressions, this shoe obviously has the on trademark cloud pods you can see here, but beyond that, it's quite different to their usual shoe. It does strike me as being quite sturdy actually. It's got several different fabric panels on the uppers and then noticeably it's got this reinforced heel cup at the back. So it's no surprise that this is a running training shoe and it is designed with extra stability and soft cushioning for those long miles. Now it weighs in at 267 grams or 9.4 ounces for a US size seven women's running shoe. And it's got a seven mil heel to toe drop. And to give you a bit of a comparison, the on training shoe, the Cloud X weighs in at just 229 grams and that has a six mil heel to toe drop. Right, let's get into the detail. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work up. And as I've previously mentioned, On do keep their trademark cloud pods with this shoe. There's lots of different features, but with the pods, they've actually designed these specifically to suit this shoe. At the rear of the shoe, you've got the zero gravity pods, and then at the front, you've got the rebound rubber. You can actually feel the difference. So these are designed for more cushioning, softer for the absorption on the back of the shoe, and then it's more reactive for the toe off phase of the running gate at the front. Moving up from the cloud pods, in between them and the insole, we have this piece here, which is the liquid injected speed board. Now, it's pretty stiff. It's designed with the on cloud tech technology. And you will also, you can see it through here as well. Another feature you will notice is the shoes are actually a bit wider than the usual on shoe. So this combined with this speed board is designed to help keep the stiffness and to propel your foot forwards throughout the foot strike. Okay, moving inside. Now, if we take a look in here, you will probably recognize, if you're used to the on shoes, that they've used this sock type lining here. So it's one continuous piece attaching to the tongue, which basically adds for comfort. And whilst we're talking of comfort, have a look at the heel. They've used this 3D form fitted padding. And this smart technology is designed to help keep your heel really secure in the shoe, which in turn adds to comfort. And I must admit, I'm actually really looking forward to trying that on because it does look really nice. Well, now moving from the inner to the outer side of the heel. And as you can see, this part is pretty stiff. So On have used reinforced outer heel cup that's injected with TPU. And basically it's designed to add to that stability. And if you think when you combine that with these 3D form fitted pads inside, it really is gonna feel pretty secure and stable. Other than looking striking, the rest of the upper is obviously designed with function in mind. Now, for example, these strips of taping in between the various fabrics aren't there purely for aesthetics. They're actually to add to the support, something that the shoe is really focusing on. And in between these strips, we've got this dual density mesh upper on the forefoot. And if you look closely, you can actually see the two separate layers here. And the idea behind this sandwich mesh is to allow ventilation through these vents here at the front, but then the inner layer is still providing that support for the forefoot in the shoe. There are a few nice finishing touches and on are known for their attention to detail. I like these flat laces, which makes them easy to keep secure. And actually, if you go to the end of the laces and you need a little bit of motivation to at least put your trainers on, whether you actually end up for the run, but here, put me on. And on top of that, you've got the little reflective panels here just on the front and around the shoe, just to make sure that you're visible at night. Anyway, by now, you're probably desperate to find out how you can get your hands on a pair of these new On Cloud Ace. Well, we have four pairs to give away, two women's pairs and two men's pairs. But before I tell you exactly what you need to do, I think it's time we took a look in these two boxes. Right, here we have a pair of the men's On Cloud Ace in Ivy Sage. Very nice. The other option in the men's shoe is the Shadow Rust here. 
And then the women's, obviously earlier you saw the ruby lava, and they also come in shadow rock. So many choices, and it is probably time that I ended the suspense. All you actually have to do is click on the link in the description below, fill in some details, and then you will have the chance of getting your hands on your very own pair. If you've liked this video and you wanna make sure that you don't miss another GTN video, hit the globe to subscribe. And if your shoes are wearing out and you're not quite sure if you need to buy a new pair yet, we've actually made a video on when to replace your running shoes, and that's just here.